Hi, I'm Josh, and this is JP Designs, and this is my old table saw. I have recently upgraded to a new one, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I wanted to show you this and show you why I needed to upgrade. Now, this table saw suited me well for years. The fence and the miter gauge, while not perfect, they worked good enough. It does have this uh, blade guard and this anti-kickback thingy. I think I used them maybe two or three times, and then I realized, hey, those get in the way, so I took them off. Um, the miter slots are not exactly ideal. The only thing that you can fit in there is the miter gauge because it has these little tabs. Uh, it's not three quarter of an inch, it's just a weird profile that is only craftsman and makes it very hard. So I hated those guys. Um, the angle wasn't exact. It's really hard to get to the exact angle uh, and it's never great. Um, the switch broke on it pretty early on. So I switched it out, <laughs> switched it out. <laughs> uh, I put a new switch in. Uh, unfortunately, I installed it upside down. So it is what you get. This guy um, is so uneven and wonky. Um, I actually had to put another piece of wood in here. You can see the screw. I had to put another piece of wood just to keep it from flexing. So not great. Um, definitely caused some headaches and some issues, but that's not why we're here. This is why we're here. Yeah, buddy. So this is the Grizzly 40th anniversary two horsepower table saw. I am loving this so far. Now I haven't used it much, um, but here are some of the things that I love about it so far. This might be a basic feature, but miter slots. Um, they are standard three quarter inch and they are straight parallel with that blade, which means I can be more, more accurate more often. So uh, big fan of that one. The next thing is this plate. It's got these screws so you can adjust up and down uh, to make sure that it is dead even with uh, the cast iron top there. My other one wouldn't do that, and I think that is a fantastic feature. Again, it might be basic for this level of table saw, uh, but it's a huge upgrade for me. Let's talk about this fence. So I was a little iffy about this because it is just straight aluminum. It's got T-tracks, which is great, um, I think. I think I'll be able to do some cool stuff with it. But you know, you see these YouTubers with the saw stops and these big fancy table saws um, that have really a, a MDF melamine straight dead straight fence. Um, that wasn't this, but I'll say the few times that I've used it, it has been dead straight. Um, and it's easy to clamp just like that. Um, Unlike my previous table saw, it doesn't clamp onto the back. So it just clamps onto the front here, uh, which makes it a lot easier to get that, uh, that, straight, uh, that straight edge. Now we do have uh, an, a blade guard here for this Grizzly. It does come with the anti-kickback doohickeys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Like I said, they do kind of get in the way sometimes. So uh, that's, to be determined, uh, but it seems to be built really well, uh, a good solid uh, blade guard. So if that's one, th one thing that you're looking for, it's a great safety feature. And check out this miter gauge that it comes with, um, especially compared to my last one. This guy has positive stops with a spring-loaded stopper, um, fits perfectly into that miter slot, um, going from 30 degrees to 30 degrees, more than just the 45 to 45. So um, fantastic little guy there. I haven't tested the accuracy of it, um, but assuming those positive stops are right, that's a great win. Of course, the start and stop switch are easily accept accessible, um, quickly accessed for emergency, but um, nice and big like that, another good win. So the blade height and tilt wheels are both here. Uh, on my other one, it was one wheel that you just push in. So having two is another uh, great feature. Uh, they're really easy to move. It seems like they're made out of aluminum, so pretty good quality there too. Um, not a whole lot to say about that other than they work really well. They're smooth and easy. 
comes with a four inch dust board. It's right underneath this. It's technically an open stain, but it's got kind of a half cabinet. So really great for dust collection too. Here's another view of that dust board. Let's talk mobility. This guy is almost 300 pounds, so it's good that it comes with wheels. It's got two individual wheels on one side and one gained wheel on this side. Um, having the three wheels, it's a little bit tricky sometimes, but having only three that you have to engage with, it's a pretty good deal. While I'm thrilled with this table saw, it's a big upgrade. There are some things that I'd like to change, some things that aren't so great. Uh, number one, the blade. The blade that it comes with is just this 40 tooth generic looking blade uh, and it burns the wood like crazy. Uh, so if you're gonna get this table saw, definitely get another blade to go with it. Number two, the wings. The wings are just stamped steel. It's not cast iron. I would like the cast iron, but uh, that was a little outside of my budget. So the problem with this is it flexes a little bit. Uh, so getting it set up is, is kind of tricky. Also moving that fence over it just a few times, it can start to already uh, wear on that, uh, that powdered, uh, what is it? Powder coated. It can start to wear on that powder coated um, steel there. So while they're not the best, they're not the primary concern. I'm sure that this will do just fine. Now I mentioned this throat plate earlier. Uh, it does have a little bit of wiggle to it. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a problem or not. Uh, this also does come with a dado plate as well. Another problem that I can see is what happens when I'm not using the miter gauge or the fence. Let's say I've got a sled that I'm using. There's no place to put it. I've got to find some other place in the shop, which is uh, <laughs> hard to do. So uh, I wish there was tool storage on it. Probably something that I'll figure out and I will make to hang off the back. But for now, it's just one of the minor down downfalls. Overall, I am super happy with this purchase. I got it on sale, so that's a plus. But this is just the right size for my shop. And it's got more power than I really need. So at a good price and the right size, hello to your new home. And Grizzly, I know y'all make some good stuff. Happy 40th. So I know it's not a saw stop and it's not a big fancy machine. Uh, this is just a open table saw, 10 inch with two horsepower. Uh, but this is just the right size for what I'm doing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this will help you if you're looking at a smaller table saw, uh, maybe an upgrade from a job site saw. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's been great so far. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the video. Share it with all your friends and family. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Thank you.